Let's see if you can make a Venn diagram for events A and B, where we defined from the phenomenon of flipping four coins, we create the variable x equal the number of tails and four flips of a coin. If you remember, we looked at this in class. Then define the two events, the compound events A and B. A is observing two tails and four flips of a coin and B is observing less than three tails and four flips of a coin. The easiest way to visualize that is um, to look at the possible outcomes. So these are the symbol events, the possible outcomes. So compound event A looks like this, and compound event B could look like any of these. Okay, so event A could take any of these forms and event B could take any of these forms. Now looking at these it should be clear that event A is inside event B. We should be able to translate that into the Venn diagram space up here. Well in fact if you figured out the probability of event A it would be 6 16 or 0.375 Event B would have probability 11 sixteenths or 0.6875. Uh, Why is that? Because each of these are 1 sixteenth probability. So in event A's case, there's 6 sixteenths of a chance of seeing event A. Either one of these would do. For B, there's 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 is 11 and each of these have a probability of 16 so these total 11 16 but now if we were to depict these events A and B in this diagram in the Venn diagram notice that event A's probability and event B's probability if you were to total them they would make up more than one well that's because A and B must overlap we already know that because A is inside of B, so what would that look like? Try and draw it and then I'll show you. Pause the video while you illustrate events A and B. Here's my depiction of events A and B. Where this one is B and this one is A. A is completely contained inside of B.